Welcome to the lesson on compressions. In this video, we will review the steps of giving chest compressions. Compressions should always be given at a rate of 100 to 120 beats per minute and at a depth of 2 to 2.4 inches, that is, 5 to 6 centimeters. Compressing the chest slower than 100 beats per minute is less likely to provide enough circulation to the brain, heart, and other vital organs. And compressing faster than 120 beats per minute doesn't provide enough time for the heart to fill between each compression, which reduces the output as well. Similarly, pressing the chest deeper than 2.4 inches, that is, 6 centimeters, increases the risk of injuring the individual, and not pressing deep enough will not squeeze the heart enough to provide adequate blood flow. CPR always begins with compressions, and then breaths. Rescuers who are uncomfortable performing mouth-to-mouth -mouth and do not have a mask may perform hands-only CPR and give compressions. For high-quality chest compressions, first position the individual on their back on a firm, flat surface. Then remove or open up clothing at the neck and chest area. Feel for the end of the breastbone or the sternum. Place the heel of one hand on the lower half of the breastbone. Avoid pressing down on the very end of the breastbone as the bony tip, known as the xiphoid process, may break off and slash the liver, resulting in internal bleeding. Put the other hand on top of the first hand. Press straight down at a rate of 100 to 120 beats per minute and at a depth between 2 to 2.4 inches, that is, 5 to 6 centimeters. Let the chest rise up completely between compressions. Your hands should remain in contact with the individual without bouncing or leaning on them. Proper CPR can be tiring. Ask to switch positions when tired, if another rescuer is available to help. This concludes our lesson on compressions. Next, we'll review giving breaths.